Hello everybody, welcome back again, these nerdy things. Uh, we have another of the uh, eBay repacks here again. Still trying to go for something really big. I've gotten a lot of like really good, nice mid to mid high grade stuff in these. Um, but just looking at through the list of the other things that, you know, the long list of really good things that there could be. I mean, I just haven't hit that like, oh, wow, like this is, you know, really money yet. So um, that would be kind of nice to do uh, one of these days. I mean, again, I'm not going to expect it, um, but it would just be kind of nice. It'd be kind of nice. So, <clears throat> all righty open it up here. I always kind of dislike, I mean, I like it, but I dislike it. Oops. Oh, look at me hitting this and knocking and everything out of, out of, uh, focus here. That this is, uh, flipped over. So, cause we're going to kind of see what this, the second card is here first. So we have a dictate of Cruffix, um, uh, the foil. So flash at the beginning of each player's draw step, that player plays an additional card. Okay. Oh, Okay, and then I get the Sorceress Queen as I let that. That's a nice card. I like Sorceress Queen. It's really cool art. Um, Revised Sorceress Queen. So, not bad, not bad. Let's see what this first card was. <clears throat> it was from Home Worlds. Leeches. Just opened some of this up. Target player loses all poison counters and it deals one damage to that player for each poison counter removed this way. So <laughs> I like that just a just a dude getting leeches put on him. Like they used to do it in the old days. <clears throat> Alright, then we saw this uh nice revised sorceress queen. Nice, nice, nice. Then we have from Zendikar Rising a little uh glass pool shore. So um nice little new set card. And then we have Might Stone from Antiquities. All attacking creatures get another power added on. Very um, kind of uh, iconic card from back in Antiquities. So then we have a Celestial Colonnade Box Topper from Ultimate Masters. Cool foil box topper um i don't know i've cooled really a lot on foils recently just because of the quality of the foils that have been curling um and that and everything seems to have like a special set where everything's foiled or you get one foil per pack and it's kind of, and I mean, the foils can be kind of cool looking, but in general, I mean like this, it's like, if I just had this regular non-foiled, I'd be probably just as happy. So I've really, you know, foils, eh, old foils, whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. But newer foils, mm, no thank you. So now we go to Alliances, Ritual of the Machine. This one's a little bit beat up on the top, but... You know, it's an Alliances card. Sacrifice creature to gain control of target non-black, non-artifact creature. Wow. Pretty cool. Just yoink. I love yoinking people's stuff. Then we have a Vivian, Monster's Advocate from Ikoria. Um, uh, in terms of Planeswalkers, not a very good one, in my opinion. I mean, sp you can play it in some... Mono green decks, but uh, I don't think its power level is that great. Primal Beyond. You may reveal an elemental card from your hand. It comes into play tapped. Add one mana of any color in your mana pool. Okay, that's not bad. Is this uh, morning? Is that morning tide? I want to say. And then we have. A bonus crimp. Wow, there we go. <laughs> oh, you can see it's crimped on the top. I'm I'm not going to flip it over right now. I'm going to kind of slow roll this last card. Usually it tends to be like the bigger, cool um, Petra Sphinx. Oh, from Legends. 
Target player names a card and then turns over the top card of his or her library, and if it matches it, uh, put that card in their hand. Otherwise, put it in the graveyard. 3-4 for 5 mana. So, I mean, cool art. <laughs> it's kind of goofy, but I like it. I like it. I like this. I mean, just the old art style. It's just so so nonsensical sometimes uh, and just so like kind of off-putting or just slightly odd. I just, I love it. So, and then the bonus crimp. Uh, oh my God. Well, it's a rare from Urza's Legacy. That's kind of cool. So a crimped card from Legacy. I don't know what the value would be in this. Um, you know, in terms of just the fact that it's uh, a crimp card if it holds like inherent value or if because it's from Urza's legacy and it's a rare. Um, so, but that's cool. <laughs> you know, I definitely, I'll definitely take it. So not a bad pack. I like this one. Uh, you know, you get some cool cards, Might Stone, you get the Petra Sphinx, uh, Ritual of the Machine from Alliances, you know, box toppers again, like I said, foil cards, I'm pretty meh about, but, um, you know, uh, I guess in terms of coming in with value for here, I'll definitely take it. So, all right, everybody, thank you once again for watching. Um, and until next time, thank you very much and have a good one.